Hey guys, we're starting to throw in some color here. Just uh, getting the color in his hair and beard and facial hair. Um, so I'm going to continue my little discussion on uh, the seven deadly sins um, and their opposing virtues. Um, ending with, there, there are three more that I have to mention, which are probably the strongest vices that I've had to deal with. Um, let's, let's, I guess we'll make our way to what the strongest one is for me. So I'm going to talk about pride next. And they say pride is a mother of all sin. And, um, you know, as, as I've been thinking about this a lot lately, I've been kind of like looking up their definitions and what they actually entail. Um, so pride is like, um, kind of like a, kind of taking, kind of basking in one's own excellence. So, um, uh, thinking that one is great because of one's own merit and not because it has been a blessing from from God. Um, so, uh, like, not pretty much not giving any credit to God and and not really giving credit that that one is actually smaller than than one thinks that that uh, that I I did this or I I am this um, and I'm great, you know. Um, and I know most people don't really think that way. And, uh, you know, in fact, a lot of people nowadays can be victim to like self-loathing. But um, I think when there is self-loathing and when there is like, um, you know, hate for oneself, that can like actually tempt someone to pride. And, and it, it tempts people toward this culture of like self-worth and self-esteem that I need to feel good about myself. Um but I think that's not necessarily the right um, solution. I think it's okay. I think we do need to feel feel good about ourselves, but not in the sense that um, I am I am great. I think one can be humble and think that I am not great and still have a good um, self worth. Um, I think the 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 word esteem is like maybe the the not the right word to be using here because I think. Um, self-esteem means it's, it might be like trying to lift oneself up, but rather I think I can say that I can humbly say that I am a limited, um, flawed human being, but I know that I am loved by God. I know that, um, I am necessary, I am a necessary piece of this world. Even if you don't have faith in God, you can say that I am a necessary piece in this world. Even just, I mean, you can prove that scientifically, you know, we have the law of conservation of um, mass and energy and and everything is like linked um uh gravitationally and like like uh, electromagnetically like everything has an effect um you know the butterfly effect and um one can think that like oh um uh you know i i'm just i don't even contribute to society like i'm i'm, I'm i only bring more i only make the world worse i don't know some people you, i guess it's possible to think that but the fact that you're necessary that's like a big that's a big deal that that the the world and every, everything being connected it simply does not operate the same without you and it i think it gives a sense of responsibility it's like kind of a daunting responsibility but also it it can give a, a sense of self-worth knowing that one is necessary um and i think that like I don't know. I think we're just kind of finding, like, using mental acrobatics to find reasons to, to have meaning. Um, but I think that that's important. I think having meaning is important. So the these are all good ways to like think about oneself without necessarily um, being prideful. Um, okay, so I'm 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 th I've been thinking about like a different way to paint this guy. Um, I'm using like solid black colors. Um, I'm going to practice using solid flat colors because the mural that I'm going to do is like acrylic paint. Um, the last couple images I did of uh, Blessed Pier Giorgio Versati and um, St. Teresa of Avila, I was using flat colors, but I just kept it really basic. So I think with this one, since he is in uh, a lover of nature, I think we'll kind of get a little bit more expressive with the color with the flat colors here. Um, I don't want to draw too much attention to them because, you know, my, I try to focus my... Uh, my um art on on the the line work like the black lines so we'll find a way to do that i think i'll desaturate a bit i tend to use really saturated colors so let's find some i think for this we're gonna play we're gonna play with the colors um so going back to pride um humility would be the opposing virtue and what is humility like 
again, I was talking about pride being this loud, boisterous thing, you know, one thinking one is great, but really humility is actually greater than pride because humility is like placing oneself in the right place, like in, in the universe. Um, like I am here, this is where I'm at. I'm small, but I'm also large. I'm necessary. I exist and I'm necessary. Um, and then we don't have to go any further than that, really. Uh, let me try to think of a color of the bird here. Um, something, something bright. I think red is nice. Pinkish, reddish. We can go orange, maybe give it like a yellow breast. I don't know. I can just make up a color of a bird here. We'll just play with it. Um, yeah. And one can say, like, conversely, that humility is the mother of virtue. Like, I think once we realize that, hey, I'm, I, I can, like, I have a place in this world and um, I can contribute well but i'm not like the center of the universe like all, not all is it is not all directed towards me it is not like for my glory and for my benefit um it it is for god and um to to give back to to have gratitude and to give back so i think like um knowing that purpose can make one humble um i don't know i haven't explored this one like pride and humility all that much but i do know that having more humility um, it's like, you're just, you, you get to mentally do the opposite of saying like, life is all about me and my excellence. And I just think about what St. Teresa said, where there is humility, praise is a torment. Um, that's kind of ugly, but I'm just going to play with the colors here. Um, I think what I'll do is focus on the, let's focus on shadows first. Let's, let's put, let's throw in, um, um, yeah, shading. So we'll just keep it to two values. So we'll take this brown of his cloak and just get another value in there. Just to give this thing a lot of depth. Uh, I need to fix the lines of his sleeve. So I'm going to take up the color real quick. So humility really can like unlock everything else. Just as pride can sort of open up everything else when it comes to sin. Because that's really the point where things like things turn around. It's like, hey, you know, life is not about me, but I'm 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 alive. I'm a necessary part of the world. What can I do? That's good. Um, and this "what can I do" question is like a big thing for me lately because I think like um, freedom is not the end goal. Like I know that we need to fight for freedom and we need to claim freedom and it, freedom is really important because if we don't have freedom, if we're oppressed, then we can't, you know, do the things that we think, you know, the, do the things that we want to do. But um, I think also we can realize that no matter the situation, we do have the free will and we can claim that freedom to choose in, in, in any situation. Um, Knowing that, yeah, I'm culpable for my sins, but I'm also I'm also fully capable and responsible for the good that I do in the world. Um, so for me, um, I've been trying to navigate like what is the right path from here. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a recovering addict. Um, I've hurt a lot of people. How can I make amends? How can I turn my life around? Um, you know, and that's that's for me. That I guess I can only speak for myself, and that is my like just attempt, I guess at. At, at humility. The contrast of this is really high. Let's bring it down a little bit. I'm going to use this brush to sort of blend it. Yeah. So, yeah. I know this is just commentary over digital, uh, digital painting, not really painting, digital flat, um, flat coloring. Uh, not really much of a painter, to be honest. But I'm working with acrylic paint on the mural, so I really want to practice, like, just choosing the right flat colors. 
and then sort of layering them on. I'm going to treat this like an acrylic painting, I guess is what is what I'll do. So now I got to play with a skin color. I got to shade it here. Let's add some light to it. I don't want it to be too yellow. Again, I got I need to learn how to work with like more desaturated colors. <laughs> there we go. That's a bit better. A little too bright there. That's more of a highlight color. So I'm kind of going to keep the orange-ish aspect of this complexion that I chose. So we'll move a little towards the orange. I think this is okay. A little bit too light still. Wow, this is going to be hard to mix the right colors with acrylics. Maybe we can just sort of grab a color and then use it and then see if it works and then, I don't know, sort of maybe a more playful free use of acrylic i don't know because I'm, I'm thinking forward to, towards a mural at this point and like thinking about the process of painting it um yeah so yeah humility i think we can we can all be more humble and i think there's i i i, I think about things these things a lot and i, I try to find the depth in it and to, to fully understand it and sometimes i can but I think for me, I'll want to keep it simple, simply, and again, it's not about eliminating pride. It's about building humility. It's about knowing that I'm small. Um, I think for me, like here, here's a practical, uh, uh, a practical thing I can do as far as humility goes. Like I know that I need to love and serve in, in my career that, um, you know, I have a new job and it's very, cu it's customer, it's very customer oriented and building a solution for the customer and i think if i just focus on the other and you know have that agape love in my in my work then i'm going to succeed um i don't want to think about results for myself i don't want to think about you know being being great being a producer of results like those things can sort of um be a hindrance to the mind you know like i think um all the stuff i've been trained on it, it's really about finding a solution for the customer. So um, I guess I can orient my my uh, my mind towards that in all my work. So here, for example, with St. Francis, um, this isn't about like, what is the best technique I can use to draw the most attention to this digital drawing and make it the best it can possibly be so that people will praise me. Like there's a temptation there for me to want to think that way. Um, because I want to be successful as an, um, as an artist and I want people to see my art, but rather I can think about, you know, what is the most beautiful, how can I make this the most beautiful so that people can be drawn to, to learn about St. Francis and drawn to, to God and drawn to his, uh, his life. So that can be for me the, the correct way to think about this. I think, you know, framing my mindset, uh, when, when I'm working toward the customer experience, you know, I call it the customer experience, but rather, you know, I'm just trying to um, make better the life of the one, like, on the receiving end of what I do. Um, so, from to simplify that even more, like, I like to simplify things in, like, not necessarily a soundbite, but ways that can help me concentrate. Like, like for example, I was having trouble with, like, intrusive thoughts, and I was having trouble with um, distraction. And I think... Um, yeah, because going to going, we're moving toward like the last, uh, the most powerful deadly sin for me, which is sloth, acedia, um, distraction, uh, not doing the the great good that I'm called to do, um, and the I, I came up with like a not I didn't come up with it I, I heard a um, a quote that I could focus on that was really helping me, and that is attention to the duty of the present moment, and so I kept telling myself that I don't do it as much now, but um, because I guess I'm. I don't know, maybe I should, um, but I guess I've been a little bit better at focusing on attention to the duty of the present moment. Of course, I don't want to get complacent. I could still tell myself that, but maybe there's something I can tell myself that will help me be humble and like, what is the duty of the present moment? Well, the duty of the present moment is to love. So attention to love of other could be like the thing I think about when I'm working. You know, uh, when we're in pain, when we're in 
when we have need, we tend to focus on ourselves. So how can I, um, okay, this is when we're going to start playing with color a little bit. So that I made that yellow mark. I'm just going to leave it. We're going to think of this like additive painting. Like, can I use this yellow anywhere? It's going to get a little crazy. Do I want to get crazy? Do I want to experiment with color here? I know I should. Let's shade a little bit. Let's keep things a little bit desaturated too. I think the, the saturation is getting a bit much. Notice how I'm, now I'm making marks and just leaving it there. I'm, I'm changing my, I'm going to experiment with my style a little bit. I like this color and I can use it. I can't use the eyedropper to in, tool in real life. I can use hatching. I can use hatching. We're going to slightly lighten this. Maybe get some color here. We want to keep it simple. Again, this color is going to get distracting. And now this, this color here is looking a little pale. So I'm going to use this uh, more fleshy color. I can get some color in, uh, in the eyebrow too. It's really hard to think this way. I'm, not, I'm kind of not used to thinking this way when it comes to um, digital art. We'll fill that in. Yeah, this color looks much better. I like that um, a little bit more pink color. So we'll start using that on the hands now. So yeah, just a little bit about pride. Um, after I finish like talking about you know the deadly sins, um, I want I want to talk about like business and product a little bit because I want to come up with and again I'm just documenting and my thinking out loud because I want. I want to come up with like all these products we have in the world. Like I, I um, the company I work for now, it uh, is a company that um, really enables people to be free to do, enables people to have the power and freedom to do the things that they really want to do. But the question for me is like, what do we do? The you know the meaning of life, and that again, these are uh, questions that we can aim to answer using philosophy and theology and religion. Um, because, you know, to deeply explore that and actually find an answer, that's, it, that's kind of what it takes for some people. It's simple and that's good. And we can, we can, I can, you know, think about the simplicity of that. Um, but if like, if I could create, like, what if there was like an app or a product that could help people have direction? let people like help people move towards you know finding that goal finding that win condition for their lives so that's something i kind of want to like explore i guess there's so much space here in, in his temple area i honestly think i might have made the space too big and i, I do want to keep the value simple too maybe like just a two values However, skin color does have many values. And if I make too many marks here, it's just going to get distracting and look kind of creepy, actually. So I'm going to try to keep things simple, playful, yet simple. Let's get a lip color here. Yeah, if you guys have tips like on digital you know, digital painting with flat colors like this, I'm open. I, I've always used flat color as my style, um, and I still can master it a lot more. I would like to, so yeah. So yeah, I guess 
I guess um, there's no reason for me to keep talking about pride and humility except for like having that, you know, sort of singular. Um, I don't know. If mantra is the right word. Mantra is not the right word. That's like a that's a spiritualist. Uh, I I don't know. Um, I think it's a word that like like a just just a word to focus on. I guess I can use that word for what I'm describing. Like mantra, not not from its uh, original meaning, but rather just just something to focus on, something simple to focus on, meditate on. Um, I know it would, it should be like, you know, the life of Jesus for me. But um, yeah, just having that love and humility and focus, the focus on other and the focus on service. So attention to the duty of the present moment was to help me solve sloth. But if I can combine that with the humility, then it would be attention to the duty of the present moment of loving others. Of, you know, uh, you know, taking my place in the world and loving others. So attention to love. Attention to love, that agape love. Pay attention to love. So, so but I, I don't want to lose the present moment. Uh, pay attention to the duty to love in the present moment is what can help me remember to focus on virtue in the moment. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I'll kind of stop there as far as this recording. Um, you guys get to see my, you know, figuring out my painting process. I zoom out and like not much happened. You know, it's like I go in and do all these details. I think I need to stay zoomed out. Let me actually full screen. I think I need to stay zoomed out and just paint like this before getting in the details. I think I need to keep it general. I think that that'll be an, a, a point of improvement for me. Okay. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.